Welcome to Lesson 4, Wood Design and Fabrication. In the previous lessons, you learned how to select a driver, design a vented enclosure, and then design the required vent necessary to tune that enclosure. In this lesson, you will actually design the physical enclosure itself. The TermPro software incorporates a 3D CAD engine, which will help you with the calculations necessary to fabricate the enclosure. After completing this lesson, you will be able to specify the enclosure shape, specify the enclosure's critical dimensions, control panel visibility in the 3D viewport display, and print blueprints for each enclosure panel. TermPro consists of five distinct pages. Each of these pages focuses on a unique aspect of the enclosure design process. To access each page, click on the navigation index at the top of the screen. The recommended sequence for designing a subwoofer enclosure in TermPro is to work from left to right whenever possible. For example, you would normally select the driver on the driver library page. You would then design the enclosure on the enclosure design page. The next step would be to design the vent on the vent design page. Finally, you would design the physical enclosure on the wood design page. The fabrication page is used to view and or print blueprints for the design. Let's get started with a tour of the wood design page. This tour is just an overview. I'll talk more about each section in more detail later in the training. The back chamber panel contains the enclosure design parameters such as enclosure volume, driver displacement, vent displacement, and bracing displacement. The total volume field represents the sum of those values. The external dimensions panel is used to specify or view the external dimensions of the enclosure. The view settings panel includes a toolbar that is used to control and manipulate the 3D viewport. The panel visibility checkboxes are used to show or hide each panel in the design. The 3D viewport displays a three-dimensional representation of the current enclosure design. The wood design toolbar contains buttons that are used to execute various wood design commands. At this time, I'm going to provide step-by-step -step instructions for creating the physical enclosure. First, we need to specify the thickness of the wood. This is important because wood thickness will affect the external dimensions of the enclosure for a given total volume. Click on the Option button on the Wood Design toolbar. The Options window will open. Select the desired fabrication material from the drop-down list. For this example, I will be using 3 quarter inch plywood. After selecting the wood thickness, the next step is to select the enclosure shape. Locate the three enclosure shape buttons on the toolbar. TermPro supports three different enclosure shapes. Rectangular, Wedge 1, and Wedge 2. I'm going to use the rectangular shape for this demonstration. Initially, TermPro will calculate a set of default enclosure dimensions necessary to achieve the total enclosure volume required. Most of the time, you'll want to change these default dimensions. For a rectangular shaped enclosure, there are three parameters that can be adjusted. These are height, depth, and width. You can specify one or more of these values by typing the desired dimension into the text field or by using the up-down buttons adjacent to the field. For this example, I'm going to enter two critical dimensions. I need the height to be 14 inches and I need the depth to be 12 inches. After entering these two dimensions that are critical for my design, TermPro will calculate the required width of the enclosure to achieve the total volume. When you specify a dimensional value, TermPro will lock that particular field to prevent it from changing if you specify another dimension. At least one dimensional parameter must remain unlocked. If you try to specify all three dimensions, you will receive a warning that the total enclosure volume will change if you continue something you almost never want to happen. The panel visibility checkboxes are used to show or hide each panel in the design. This is a useful tool to help you visualize how the enclosure should be assembled. Once you're satisfied with your enclosure dimensions, you can view and or print blueprints for each of the wooden panels you need to cut. 
but first you must switch to the fabrication page. Let's take a quick orientation tour of the fabrication page. The panel selector is used to select the panel you wish to view. The dimensions panel allows you to specify decimal or fractional units and the desired measurement resolution. The blueprint window displays the front, side, and plan view for the selected panel. The fabrication toolbar contains buttons that are used to execute various fabrication commands. The dimensions for each panel are displayed in the front and side views of the blueprint. The blueprint also identifies each cut that needs to be made. These are labeled A, B, C, and D. The title block for each blueprint includes the quantity of panels required and the table saw blade angles for each cut. Click on the print button on the toolbar to print the selected blueprint. The print dialog window will open. Click on the print button to print the page. With Term Pro, you can easily design and fabricate a physical subwoofer enclosure. In this lesson, you learned how to specify the enclosure shape, specify the enclosure's critical dimensions, control panel visibility in the 3D viewport display, and print blueprints for each enclosure panel. Please spend a moment to review this lesson by practicing the information presented here with your own copy of TermPro. Thanks for watching.